791 one at gunpoint. Get in the car, lady. Police! Hands up now! Get on the floor. Hello everyone, welcome back to another episode of LSPDFR. In today's episode, we are patrolling in the brand new 2020 Ford Explorer that is currently being used by the California Highway Patrol. So we are going to be patrolling as the California Highway Patrol and we are just going to be doing some traffic violations and see what type of cause of service we can get. Now, this model here, it is available on LSPDFR. I have linked it. Um, it's uploaded under my account as an add-on model. However, this model wasn't made by, made by me. It was actually made by somebody else. So if you guys are interested, the link will be in the description for it. As you can see, it has all the takedowns and uh, the lighting for it. So if you guys do want to use it, it will be linked in the description. Let's just go ahead and get straight into it. This red car right here, that one's moving. Look at it. It's going faster than all the other ones in traffic. Let's see if we can pace them. So we're pacing him right now, and it looks like he's going 70 miles per hour. So let's go ahead and uh, uh, do a traffic stop on him. Looks like he's going to be pulling over. 6791 traffic will be uh, past the gas station exit on US Route 1. Let's go ahead and uh, run the plate real quick. If I can get a 102863 Charles Mary Frank 712 Reddit vehicle sedan. license plate. Looks like it has no registration, no insurance, Charles and no owner. Frank owner. Seven so one two. Let's go down to a person vehicle and see what's violation. up. Approach with caution. Hey guys, how's it going? Officer uh, Widrow with the California Highway Patrol. You know why I'm stopping you? Reason for the stop is you're driving a bit uh, recklessly back there. Any reason for that? You're a student driver. All right, um, where have you guys, uh, where are you guys coming from? Okay, where are you heading to? Also, right now to answer, okay. Have you guys done any drugs recently? No? Okay, reason I'm asking is because I can smell drugs, okay? Um, do you know the registration on the vehicle is expired? Because I, I don't see anything on my system. Okay, you got your driver license on you? <coughs> what the hell? an explosion. Thanks. Right, Jessica. Can I also have the registration for the vehicle, please? Hey. You don't want to show me the registration? That's fine. Cool. Oh, passenger, can I have your uh, information as well, please? Just an ID or a driver's license if you have one. All right. Thanks. Well, do you go ahead and sit that for me, okay? <clears throat> So the driver of the vehicle uh, refused to show uh, refused to show the registration for the vehicle. I'm not sure entirely why, but uh, we're gonna go ahead and check it out. So let's uh, run the driver first. Uh, she has a small firearms permit, uh, and she is valid. Looks like she's clear. She doesn't have a record. What about Joe? He's valid, and he does not have a record either. Cool, let's go ahead and check the license plate for this vehicle. And it is registered to Evelyn Parks. And apparently I can't find her name on the database, that's cool. Um, I mean, the vehicle shows registered, so it's probably just an issue with the DMV. They probably didn't process everything correctly. Um, so we're going to be citing Jessica here for uh, the speeding. Um, so we'll do a citation, and we'll do... Uh, Speeding, uh, we'll do under 15 because it was only 70 miles per hour by pacing. And we'll just do, uh, we'll do save and print citation. We'll go ahead and, uh, hand it over to her and let her go. All right, ma'am. Um, what I'm going to be doing today is I am going to be writing you a ticket. It is going to be for speeding 10 miles over the limit. I, uh, I don't know what's up with you not wanting to show me the registration, but I mean, everything in my system's fine, okay? So here you go. Here's your copy of the citation. If you could just take that, make sure you sign at the bottom. Um, once I uh, return to my vehicle, you are free to go, okay? Bye. So cool. We just issued a citation on that vehicle. Um, oh, let's check out this bike right here. Oh, 
Oh yeah, look, he's taking off. Let's go ahead and catch up to him here. Yeah, it's speeding. It's always the bikes too, like, those guys are always the ones who are literally hauling ass. I'm currently pacing him and look at that, 90 miles per hour. That's uh, quite fast for a bike here, so we're going to go ahead and pull him over. He's pulling up behind the car here, so he's obviously going to slow down, but look at that, 80 miles per hour. Let's go ahead and pull him over here. Sixty-seven, ninety-one. I'll be on a traffic uh, route one, just past the sign with a bike. If I can get a ten twenty-eight zero zero X-ray John William four two four. Target vehicle license plate. Looks like he has no flags. So let's go ahead and approach him. See what's up with him. William four two four. Target is ten four. I'll give him props to wearing the helmet though. Hey, how's it going, man? Hey, reason for the stop is uh, you're driving very recklessly back there. Any reason for that? You're a student driver as well. Okay, what's up with the speed? You're just born to speed. Okay, where are you coming from? From the hospital. Okay, where are you heading to? You don't want to know? Okay. Have you had any drugs recently? Any drinking? All right. You got your driver's license with you, sir? Cool, Mr. Badox. And do you also have the registration for the bike? Hey. All right, go ahead and set that for me. I'm going to run your information. I'll be right back with you, okay? So that guy's excuse to speeding was I was born to speed, so obviously that's not a valid excuse, but I mean, you got to say what you got to say, you know? Now let's go ahead and uh, run his information. Let's do the vehicle first. Move Modix, check owner information. No, he's on parole. Let's see what he's on parole for. For 192. Wow, that's... uh. That's parole, all right. So, here's since he is on parole, uh, he is going to be open to search term. So let's go ahead and get him off the bike real quick. We'll search him, and if he doesn't have anything on him, I won't cite him or anything because it will be a violation of his parole, and he could get in trouble for that. So, man, you mind stepping off the bike for me? All right. You want to come over here? That way you don't get hit by the car, bro. Just over here. All right, since you are on parole, I am going to go ahead and search you, okay? Uh, you have any weapons on you? You hate weapons? All right, do you have anything else illegal on you before I search you? Maybe, yes. Okay, go ahead and face away. I'm going to pat you down, okay? Just to make sure you don't have anything. He has a bag of unmarked pills, suspicious liquid. All right, man, go ahead and face away. I'm going to be placing you in handcuffs right now. Uh, you are not under arrest yet. You're just going to be detained, okay? Well, I figure out what the hell you have on you, okay? Let's uh, go ahead and place him in the back of my car. And since I did find that on him, I'm most likely going to be towing the bike as well since, I mean, I guess he has stuff on him. So we'll go ahead and test whatever we find. I believe just what we have right now is possession of LSD. Yep, it's going to be positive for the jar of liquid. So let's go ahead and search his bike. Make sure he doesn't have anything on the bike that we should know about. And then we can call a tow for it. We'll actually call a tow for it right now. Uh, 6791. Uh, you can start a rotational tow for a bike. It's going to be last of 424. And then uh, we'll search the vehicle or the bike. Looks like he has nothing of interest. So, he is going to be going for possession of drug paraphernalia. So, I'll uh, type up his arrest report and I'll be transporting him to the county jail. Attention, all units. We've got a possible disturbance in Grande Sonora Desert. So, we're getting a call for an animal in the roadway. So, we're going to try. Yeah, I see it right there and it's blocking the roadway. So we're going to see if we can get over there safely and do what's called a traffic break so we can um, safely get the animal out of the roadway and prevent any other vehicles from hitting it. So 
we're gonna see if we can get over there and uh, remove the animal. So it looks like they're going to be on the on the off ramp here for southbound uh, Interstate uh, One. So we'll just do the traffic break from. I don't think we really need a traffic break, but we'll do it anyways. 6791 County. I'll be uh, on scene. Traffic break from the on ramp to location. I'll be shutting down the off ramp as well. What the fuck did that wolf just do, bro? We'll just uh, follow the animal until it's able to get off the off ramp completely. We'll slow down the traffic. That way, uh. There we go. 6791. Call is code 4. Animal is, uh. Back in the well. Run a responding code 3 to a medical emergency. Uh, looks like fire is uh, responding as well, but they need uh, assistance from PD, so. Looks like I guess we were the closest unit there, so we're gonna see if we can uh, respond on the system with the call. 6791, we are 97. So they're gonna be somewhere down here. Yeah, here they are. Let's see how we can assist them. Hey, how's it going, bro? What's up? Uh, they have been having problems for a while with their health. Please help. We did all we could. Hands are bloody and cut, indicating the suspect was possibly the aggressor. The aggressor to who? There's really nobody here. Looks like the female is deceased, so we're just gonna do an area check. Around the residence, see if we can find anything. I mean, it shows that the female was maybe the aggressor, but I'm not sure from what exactly. I mean, the guy advised they had. She had problems with her health. It's like a bag of heroin and a handgun. So, oh, I see what happened here. I guess she was trying to deal crystal meth or something and she got shot up or something. Not really sure. All right, sir, so here's your ID back. You're uh, free to go. All right. Stay safe, all right? Off you go. Damn, yeah. I mean, there's really nothing much we can do here other than give it to PD or Sheriff's Office. I mean, I'm not, I don't know, man. I'm just here to write tickets, not a... Uh, Handle an investigation, homicide investigation. So, 6791, we are code 4. And it is getting kind of dark out, so, uh. We'll see if we can get one more traffic stop before, uh. It's really dark. Whoa, dude! Sixty-seven ninety-one. I'll be on a. You're taking off, god damn it. 6791, I'll be in pursuit of a vehicle. We are currently heading northbound. Uh, route 1, passing Chumash. If you can copy at 28. It's going to be 28, all Lincoln Harry, 965. Target vehicle license plate, 28 Paul, Lincoln Henry, 965. Target is 104. I don't even know why this guy is running, bro. Uh, 6791, uh, Request a sergeant for a pit. So we're clear to perform the pit, so we'll just do it right here. Oh, shoot, bro. It didn't work. I'll do another one. No. Oh. I'll do one more and uh, see if we can stop her right here. Sixty-seven ninety-one, one at gunpoint. Dick. Get out the car, lady. Police, hands up now. Get on the floor. Relax, bro. Sixty-seven ninety-one. We have one in custody. Oh man, lady! Put in the back of the car before this guy gets mad. Let's go ahead and uh, search your vehicle real quick. Make sure uh, there's nothing in here we should know about.
looks like several pounds of methamphetamine knuckle dusters in a hatcher right, maybe that's why she ran 6791 if you can start a rotational tow it's gonna be the last 965 um, black Ford vehicle and let's go ahead and get her out of the car real quick and uh, search her. Alright, ma'am, step out of the vehicle. Let's see if we can search her. Pat her down, make sure she doesn't have anything. Looks like a small revolver and a bag of clear crystals. Okay. Damn, that guy's speeding. Let's put her back in the car. Let's not get hit, oh my god. Alright. Sixty-seven I'll be a uh, code for transporting one female subject. So it looks like she's uh getting the maximum prison treatment. Oh my god. So they do have a depot up here, which is I guess why I'm taking her all the way up here, so. Uh, makes sense. And with this rest, we'll be uh, ending the video. Thank you guys for watching. Uh, make sure to like and subscribe if you do want more videos like these. Uh, now again, if you do, if you would like this model, there is uh, a link in the description for you to get it. It's uh, once again not created by me. However, it is uh, available as an add-on. So yeah, if you guys did enjoy this video, make sure to hit a like and subscribe. And I will see you guys in the next one.